What's going on guys? So we are out here at Howdy Ranch RV in Mathis, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at my very first Alpine that I've toured. And this is by Keystone. This is kind of like the cousin to the Montana. In some cases, this is a step above it. In some cases, it's kind of the same thing. But we're gonna take a closer look at this 3801 FK. We'll be right back. So this is a really cool fifth wheel and it's part of the luxury line from Keystone. This is the Alpine. You can see the really nice front windshield on it as well. This has the Road Armor front pin box. Again, it's very similar to the Rotoflex in the sense that it has a rubber bushing right there and as this pivots, it kind of handles some of those jarring motions that would normally transfer to the truck. Let's take a look at the numbers on this fifth wheel. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. 7,000 pound axles, rides on G-rated tires, and it has a 3,080 pound cargo capacity. This is gonna ride on a drop frame, and it's the same eight inch I-beam drop frame that you would see on a Montana. Taking a look at this front area, this is where both of your propane cans would be. This is gonna be your basement storage. Check that out. This is a huge basement storage. The access way right here is a little bit small, but only because they put the wet bay next to it. So in a lot of fifth wheels, the wet bay is connected to the storage area. And because of that, it kind of shares the same space, but they isolate it completely on this Alpine. And if you ever have a flood in here, a water leakage in here, you don't have to worry about it getting into your storage, which is nice. Over here, you have the back of your water heater coming around all rack and pinion slides so there's no cable driven slides on this unit you can see this one as well as the slide over there both rack and pinion 12 inch i-beam and then it drops down to an 8 inch i-beam up here all frameless windows over here you can see it uses the high spec g-rated tires they're becoming more and more common on fifth wheels G-rated tires in general are becoming more and more common on fifth wheels, which is really nice. This has the Road Armor LCI suspension with wet bolts and the heavy-duty shackle straps, which is really nice. Rear level-up hydraulic landing gear. Coming around to the back. All LED lighting, wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Has a two-inch receiver back here. It's just meant for an accessory rack, not to tow a vehicle. You have a walk-on roof right here, another rack and pinion slide, rack and pinion slide, and a Schwintec slide up front. Has two entries to it, and it has a really long awning that kind of extends out over this slide, but it's still going to give you pretty good awning space. Let's open up the basement storage so you can see what it looks like from this side. Okay, so this uses piston arms right here because there's a slide directly above it. I do wish they extended a little bit further up. You can see it has a 32 inch TV and a 50 inch TV in here. This uses the ASA in command system, which is essentially that intelligent control system that controls everything from a touchpad inside. Or if you have a new GM truck that has the ASA app on it, you can control it from the dash of your truck. Retract slides, extend slides, turn air conditioning on, all sorts of different things. But this is a huge space. You probably have at least three and a half feet down here, about three and a half feet going up as well. Let's step up into this 3801 FK. I like the fact they use friction hinge doors as well so the door doesn't swing around when it's windy outside. Coming around into the kitchen area, you can see just how much attention they focus on the kitchen in this unit. Big L-shaped dinette over here. Really cushy looking seats as well. But you can seat four people here. If you have a small child, you might be able to put them in the corner. Nice freestanding dinette. Samsung residential refrigerator. Lots of cabinets. I mean, they just really stocked up on cabinets here. Nice pantry right here. Cabinets all the way around. This is a very residential style kitchen. I mean, look at all the countertop space. There's more countertop space in this than I think some homes have. Nice upgraded Furion cooktop. Lots of countertop space. Nice full-size residential microwave. You have some drawers here, more storage here. On top, you have more storage. This has an MSRP of 97225 This one has 
a sale price currently going on. They're taking 2000 off of that, so 69988 which is actually a pretty good deal for a fifth wheel this large with this floor plan. Working our way down to the living room. Again, with this mid living room design, you get a lot of seating space. And both of these love seats turn into beds, which fold out and allow you to sleep up to four more people in the living room area. Plus theater seating right here. There's your ASA in command system where you control essentially everything that goes on with the unit from your slides to your ACs to your lights, all of that. Really nice residential style entertainment center here. This is really nice. I mean, they set it up to look like you would expect to see it in a home. I really like that. Here's your second entrance into this fifth wheel. I don't really know that if this unit needs a second entrance, but they put one here. And it kind of takes you into the bathroom space, which is a really good sized bathroom. You don't ever have to worry about hitting your head on the ceiling in here, I don't think. Plus, you have Storage right here for toiletries, nice vanity area, cabinets underneath, tons of space around the toilet. One piece shower stall, it's a very, very nice bathroom. And the doors feel very solid. Stepping back into the bedroom area. So this unit is equipped with a queen size bed. You could fit a king size bed in here. They would essentially remove these little nightstands and you'd have a king size bed. Nice softer headboard to it. Lots of height in here. Whisper quiet air conditioning system in here. And you have another whisper quiet unit up front, which is really nice. Plus you have a nice pocket door here. Lots of storage there. I believe this is also gonna be your washer and dryer setup. Yep, so here's your washer and dryer connections as well. Coming around, talk about wardrobe space. So this bedroom actually has opposing slides. You have a slide here and you have a slide right here, which is why you have so much room right here. This is huge. It is carpeted. Some people prefer carpet. Some people prefer linoleum or vinyl. You know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys prefer. On this side, about 18 inches of space there. On this side, about the same. If you have a king size bed, you'll probably shave that off pretty significantly. You'll probably get about 12 inches of space off each side. But this is still a very, very good size bedroom with a huge window. Imagine if you're backed up to a nice piece of property, a lake, something that you want to look at. You know, waking up here and being able to look out that enormous window is probably a great thing. Now, working our way back up front. You have that beautiful window up front, which is also really nice. You know, Alpine, again, is part of the luxury lineup of RVs from Keystone. And you can definitely see that in a lot of the things that they've done. I do like that they use more traditional curtains in here. My wife definitely would like that. I like the fact that they have the MCD roller blinds in here as well, which really come in handy, especially when it's daytime and you want to block some of that out. Perhaps you want to sleep in. I like the fact that they're really focusing on giving you more of that residential style and feel to it. It just feels very homey in here. It definitely feels like an RV you could spend a significant amount of time in. And when you have your friends over, when you have people over with you, you can all kind of be in the kitchen area here because this tends to be the social gathering area for most homes. Whereas in an RV, your kitchen's generally kind of a small space. But in here, you know, a lot of people could be in here. You could be feeding kids right here cooking, cleaning, doing whatever you're doing over here, have a group of people over here, or somebody even sleeping in. Just a lot of really nice room in here. And ceiling fan, nice lighting, nice curtains, nice entertainment area, all sorts of different things to give it more of that homey feel, more of that long-term feel, something you could spend a lot of time in without feeling claustrophobic or cramped up. And that's really nice. I even like how they put this here. I think that's really nice with this front windshield. Do not ask me how much it costs to replace a front windshield if it breaks, but it is really nice as long as it's not broken. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of this really nice Alpine fifth wheel. This is a front kitchen, mid living room, floor plan style. So if that's what you're researching, that's what this is. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, I'd really appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification button so you know when more videos pop up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.